this stuff over and over again. Hello. Okay, good. So in this first example, the first thing we guys want to understand with this one is we know that cosecant and secant, I'm sorry, cosecant and sine are reciprocal functions, right? So the fast, I've shown you guys a couple different ways to like write this. You could write this as 1 over sine. The easiest way that I would write this would just be sine of theta equals negative 1 half. They're reciprocals of each other, so I can just do that. Do you guys agree with me? OK. So just remember, when you guys have the reciprocal functions, you, we don't do, do those as much. Just remember your reciprocal way to being able to solve this. We don't need to solve anything else. We just need to know when does sine equal negative 1 half. Well, we think of negative 1 half. OK, that's that angle. And that angle, which is, um, well, we know it's equals to pi half. That's square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. That angle is pi over 6. So if, since these have the same reference angles, my angles are going to be um, 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. And again, what that means is these are the solutions. So you can plug these in, and that makes your identity true. You can also write your solutions, or you'll see this on a multiple choice test. You'll see the solution um, is written as a set. Okay, So you can either say theta equals these angles, or you can write them as a solution set. Same thing we just did. But that was just a, but it was a reciprocal function. So you have to know the reciprocal functions and how to move from one 